Turning now to a new effort to stop gun violence in our communities that comes on the heels of the latest murder in Niagara Falls. Police say just before 11 last night, officers found a 47 year old man dead in a pickup truck on Pine Avenue. They say that he was shot and the shooting itself may have happened as much as an hour before that they found him. As our Johnson person shows us, one woman who knows all too well the pain of losing a loved one to murder is working to put an end to it. Gonna wait, lose. Gonna wait, lose. You tore my life apart. That's Marsha McWilson singing her song, Gone Away Blues, while holding up her 24-year-old son's picture, Jalen McWilson. Never forget that morning, waking up that morning, and all of my, can my people canceled. And it was the reason why they canceled is because Jalen had to get his hair done that day. <laughs> he says, Ma, could you do my hair? And I said, well, for some reason, everybody canceled. That's never happened. But I believe that was God allowing me to be able to spend time with my baby for the last time. As Marsha looks out her front lawn, she's reflecting on the night in January. Jalen was shot and killed by a 19-year-old right outside of their home. With a semi-automatic weapon, which is, in other words, like a Uzi. And what is a Uzi being found in a neighborhood like this? And why does a 19-year-old kid have this weapon? She tells me last year on October 5th, the city of Niagara Falls granted her Marsha McWilson Day. So she's hosting an anti-rally this weekend as she feels she has a purpose in doing so and comforting others who may have lost a loved one to gun violence. And his birthday is October 4th. That right there. Um, I said, well, that I guess that day was given to me. Of course it was given to me to promote anti-violence. Marsha says the Niagara Falls Snug Initiative will be there, helping to reach out to the community and bridge the gap with police. They were right there for me. When it went down, they were right there at the hospital. And she had this to say about the ongoing gun violence in the falls and around the country. If you're going to be a man or you're going to be somebody with some courage, show your courage with your strength, not your finger. Now, the anti-gun rally is happening this Saturday, October 7th, right here at the Trinity Baptist Church. You can head over to WKBW.com to get more information about the rally. In Niagara Falls, Jocelyn Person, 7 News.